Tiny the ladder is a refined material mainly used at the forging machine in order to produce the iron great sword. Plus you will need it for the tailoring machine in order to produce many gear pieces. To be able to craft it, interact with any tailoring machine where you will be able to find its recipe that will require some corset leather and sea salt. For the coarse leather, to farm it early game, you need to craft any weapon like the stone sword. Then wait till the sun set and check around your workshop. In this part of the day, you will find some enemies roaming around called the Thorny Jumper. Defeating them has a random chance to drop a coarse ladder. For the next method, you have to level up until you reach the level 25. Then you have to check the margins of the Sandrock City area. Here you will find some enemies called Rock and Roll you have to defeat. Defeating them will reward you with the Curse Ladder as well. For a better way, you have to proceed further in the storyline until you will repair a bridge. This will give you access to a new desert biome, where you will be able to find some animals called the Pensky. Defeating those, you will be able also to find some Curse Ladder. While for the best method, you still have to explore the new biome, where you will find several enemies called the Boxing Jacks. Defeating those animals will have the higher chance to drop the biggest amount of coarse ladder you need. While for the sea salt, the only way to farm it is by visiting secret caves and the quest dungeons. Inside those locations you have to destroy the crates that sometimes will drop the salt. While the easier way to obtain it is by visiting the Blue Moon Saloon in the bottom right side of the city. Inside it you have to interact with the cash desk, from where you will be able to buy up to 20 sea salt each day for a price of 8 gold. In alternative, visit the Arvius shop called by the stair located in the central left side of the city. This time the cash desk you have to interact with is outside of the building. Here you also can buy up to 20 sea salt each day for a price of 8 gold each. But there is also a small trick in order to obtain a huge discount. In fact, the first time you will speak with Arvio, you will receive a 7 day 50% discount. Then, by completing several side quests for this NPC, you will also receive several times another extra week of discount. Considering that you will need a lot of this ingredient, my advice is to exploit every single discount period in order to buy all the salt you can from this shop. 